Hey, what's up everybody? Nexel here. Sorry I haven't posted anything in the past few days here. I was actually at the White Schwartz Tournament uh, Regional that was happening in Indianapolis this past weekend. So I was pretty busy going from Friday pretty much all the way until, uh, well, it's Tuesday morning right now. Tuesday morning at around uh, 3 a.m. But we do have a lot of things to talk about. So today we are playing Kingdom Hearts Union Cross. And we've got a lot of announcements. I know this is old news for some of you guys. Some of you guys already have been obviously paying attention uh, to the recent YouTube streamers. But we have a lot of things that came in as of last Friday. Uh, so we talked about the special attack bonus campaign. On Sunday, we got the Axel event. Now let's take a look here. So for the Axel event... Which should be our last, I think our last Organization 13 medal. We have the Axel medal. This is the 5 star version. And there's the hair that we always get. And here's what it does. So it's Axel B. It is going to be a power attribute reversed. It's going to be a tier 3 just like all the rest of them. And it's going to deal 11 hits and raise power base strength by 3 tiers for 1 turn. Inflicts more damage the lower the slot number. So that last part's kind of irrelevant. Uh, because... If, if I remember the multipliers correctly, that thing hits like a brick. Like, it hits for a lot. And it only costs 1 gauge to use, which is really, really good. So for anyone who missed out on Cloud EX, or you know, really wanted a shark with extra attack on it, this is a fantastic opportunity for you. We have a medal that if you get all the copies of it, you can roll six traits, preferably extra attack for those who missed out on Cloud and wanted to get, again, that shark with extra attack. Or, or if you have Cloud EX, this is a great opportunity for you to get... Uh, you know, another ground minus 60 defense trait or a aerial defense minus 60 trait. Just because this metal, if I remember correctly, the multiplier goes up to 3. And with Dark Nod just being released last week, which is our reverse power keyblade, this thing is going to be a fantastic striker. It's going to be a great utility metal. So there's a lot of hope on this Axel B. I want to say it's definitely one of the best Organization 13 metals that have come out. Moving along here, so of course, it is the uh, second-ish, third-ish week of the month, meaning that it is solo and party ranking time. So this time around, we've got the Charithi Charm, and this one's going to be a Leo for the month of August. So let's take a look at this guy right here. Uh, for anyone who watched Backstory, man, this guy is like the cutest little guy. And naturally, we have our crown rewards that come for the top... I think it's five, three hundred, and then five hundred parties for per union. Uh, but I gotta double check that. So there's that. You know, same as always. We have the raid event that accompanies it. So pretty much the raid boss that everyone's gonna keep punching for the entire week, and it comes with a pretty sweet, 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 sweet accessory. So you defeat the gummy. Gummy Hound Raid Boss with your friends to earn Raid Coins, which you use to get the Pineapple Headband Avatar part. Now, this is a head part that gives Skill Perk plus 3, which is really, really good to have Skill Perks on you. Unfortunately, it's not a plus 6, like the uh, Jack Sparrow hat, I believe, from the Pirates of the Caribbean Avatar board, and the Donald Duck Halloween hat. But what makes this unique is is that this is a skill perk headpiece that you can earn. So the other two, you had to pay jewels to get them. This one you can earn by playing Union Cross. Or, I'm sorry, not by playing Union Cross. By playing the raid event. So it's a fantastic opportunity for free-to-play players who try to save their jewels a lot to get a skill perk on their, on their uh, head accessory there. So naturally, you have the uh, bonus times, mainly meant for raiders. And here's our next thing, the Winnie the Pooh medals in Union Cross. Now, I have to double check the effect on this one, but I'm pretty sure it's a nerfed Hainer, Pence, and Alette. So, let's take a look at these guys here. Unfortunately, they don't give us the, the rundown of what these do. 
but the event details say Pooh, Tigger, and Rabbit Medals are waiting for you. By defeating enemies in this set of Union Cross quests, you'll have a chance at getting these limited time medals. Get the Pooh and Tigger and Rabbit Medal by evolving one of the three medals using the other two as the material. So of course it's, you know, some kind of anti-spoiler alert, like we don't know what it's going to look like, because uh, Japan already got it. But, you know, I'm, I'm excited. I'm excited to get it. I'm excited because this is an extra 24 Nova levels for anyone who's keeping track there. And 24 Nova levels is, I believe, it's worth getting because it's free. <laughs> um, let's, let's just leave it at that there. So it's going to rotate between Pooh and then Tigger and then Rabbit for each day. So sets of three days with the last two days of the event having all three medals as random drops. Now this was this was the part that really really bothered a lot of people. So for those of you who logged on at exactly 12 p.m. PST to open up open up all the notifications, read through them. This used to say Magic Mirror Set 1, Magic Mirror Set 2, and then get this. Magic Broom Set 1 and Magic Broom Set 2. Now, 30 minutes into the notification, they realized the mistake, and they changed it back to four Magic Mirror sets. This just blew up the internet for a good 30 to pretty much the end of Monday. It's absurd. It's honestly, it's so ridiculous because when you think about it, the Magic Brooms themselves aren't even too useful. You need to keep stacking them, first of all. So if these if these uh, sets only offered one magic broom, you know, that's like nothing. That's If it offered five for you to get a Fantasia Mickey a B uh, or a Mickey and Brooms, that would be fantastic. That would be great. But if it offered even just one broom, that is better, but it's not good enough. And I don't know why they changed it to a magic mirror set. I mean, the game has advanced so far in global that... They're, I don't know, it's it's really dumb. I mean, Global at this point deserves a, a means of getting brooms that isn't spending jewels. So for those of you who have been keeping up, the VIP quest that's only available to uh, pay-to-play players. And then, what else? There are the, uh, the banners that give a mirror with some sort of metal. So it's it's at the point where it's it should be warranted that we should have an easier means of obtaining Mickey and Brooms medals. So I don't know why they did that, you know, pretty much it was a, it was a bad move on their part, messing it up. I don't know who's in charge of notifications for uh, for the game, but there's just been a lot of mistakes lately for like for those who again go in at 12 p.m. PST or 12 a.m. PST. Some of the notifications haven't been translated from the original Japanese versions. So I don't know what's going on. It just seems like uh, like someone just isn't isn't keeping up but regardless uh, we do have our challenge boss time so that's going to be at the beginning of 30 minutes the beginning 30 minutes of 7 p.m pst and 11 p.m pst and pretty much it's exactly like the hainer pence let except and i'll show you in a bit the drop rate for this is really 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 good like back in the hainer pence let one i'd get like one medal every Two missions in this one i get like three or four of the display metal uh, but anyways moving along our notifications we have key r2 and magic broom deal let me just say this is bait this is super bait they're about to drop something awesome preferably the sum sum medals because usually the metal they give you for free kind of indicates what's about to drop next and this one's going to be a minus two magic debuffer for the enemy for AOE so that just I don't know that makes me think of Tsum Tsums because the Tsum Tsums are AOE debuffer that's that's the only way I could think of it unless there's some sort of high score challenge where they're going to put key r2 as the feature metal uh, so this gives you another chance at key r2 it's guaranteed per pull and it could come boosted and you get a magic broom every single time you pull just like the illustrated Ventus banner we had a long time ago and I believe you can only do it three times a day. Yeah, so only three times a day, meaning a total of nine magic brooms. And that's about it. You know, to be honest, I really wouldn't recommend this banner to anyone unless, and hear me out here because I am one of these people, unless you are really, really close to guilting it and it has good traits. So I'll show you guys that in a minute. But for now, let's keep trucking along. 
We've got our Key R10 VIP Part 2 for those who already bought the first one. If you didn't buy the first one uh, because of, you know, financial reasons or you didn't want to buy two weeks in a row for, for whatever reason, you know, what holds you, this is still good because you're getting $44 worth of jewels for the price of 15 bucks, And you're also getting the Story EX and the uh, Key R10, which is a solid metal on its own. Unfortunately, I really couldn't recommend it unless it was guilted or you got extra attack on it. But yeah, that's it's a really good deal. These 1,400 plus jewels weeks that we get are always good deals because you get, again, that $44 price for $15. All right, so nothing special here. This is exactly like uh, last week. Again, this is my second favorite art in the entire series with number one going to uh, the, the art that was used for Key Art 4. That's definitely my favorite of all time. All right, I think we only have one more notification to go to. And that is the Zero AP campaign. Finally, 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 everyone was waiting for this. We were so confused for the longest time how we had like a three week dry spell with uh, no Zero AP campaign. But it is finally time to catch up on those quests, time to catch up on standard mode, on proud mode, to keep trying at the high score challenge if you want to, you know, go back, reconfigure your setup and go back in again. The Axel event is now free, so if you can't defeat the last guy and you need a reset, you don't have to worry about the AP for resetting to go back, fix up your metal setup, go back in again, try it, see if it works. You know, there's no downside to having a zero AP campaign. And I'm sure it was because it was raid week, you know, they, they had to plan zero AP around raid week. So uh, people just, could just keep raiding pretty much. All right. So let me show you that drop rate for the uh, Winnie the Pooh friend medals. If the uh, game would load up a little bit here. So let's go into my medals list and sort these guys by new because I believe they are the newest ones. Yeah, so here you go. So these four I got just because I was kind of lazy at around 7 p.m. PST and I was like, hey, you know, I'll just I'll just play a little bit. Uh, but these all these I got from the first half hour of that 11 p.m. PST 11 p.m. Yeah, 11 p.m. PST. So that's that is like a crazy amount when you compare it to Hainer Pencilette. Like, what is that? 7, 14, 21, 24 total medals in half an hour. That's that's really good. It means you can roll for traits. Unfortunately, it's not as good as Hainer Pencilette. But if you are still free to play, it's a great, great, great the uh, the combination medal, the Pooh Tigger and Rabbit medal, is a fantastic medal for any free to play player. It raises defense, I believe. So this one raises speed based defense. The combination metal should raise all of it, all the all the PSM defense by one tier for two turns, if I remember correctly. It doesn't give you the general defense buff that the Hainer Pencil Let Metal does, but that doesn't mean it's not good. So again, with this drop rate, it should be super easy to roll into extra attack. You've got a one in eight chance that the game isn't cheating. So that's that's really, really good. Now, let me show you what I meant by if you're close to guilting that uh, key R2. So let's let's pull up my key R2. Uh, bu -bu 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 -bum. I should have passed it. Nope, where, where are you, key R2? There you are. Okay, so this is my key R2. It's only got three orbs on it, meaning that I would need three more of this metal just to guilt it. Or I can get lucky and draw into one that's pre-orbed. Uh, but that's aside from the fact. The real thing is that even though I'm kind of far away, the traits I have on it are fantastic. So we have damage and raise, which is really good because, again, it's AoE. There aren't a lot of metals that debuff as much as there are ones that buff. And uh, for those of you who have been keeping up, I did get the Sora Art EX medal. So with this, I'd be able to hit that minus 7 magic debuff on the enemy's defense and hit up to that plus 7 magic strength. So this would be a great, great, fantastic metal to... Uh, I would I would love to have this metal guilted. Unfortunately, even though I'm so close, I don't think it's worth it. Just because, like I said earlier, they're probably going to drop something really, really good. This is our bait banner. They're going to try and make us spend all our medals before they drop the Tsum Tsums, which are infinitely better. Because they, uh, they have strength against all attributes, just like the World of Final Fantasy medals. And they debuff general defense AOE. So 
If you can get the Sora and Riku one, that's just, it's honestly, it's a fantastic medal. It's minus two general defense on the enemy for two turns. So minus four on the second turn, or if you get extra attack on it by, you know, some sort of magical will, it's going to be minus seven. And that's how you're going to get that minus seven general debuff. Uh, but yeah, these are all our notifications. I hope I was able to give you guys some insight as to whether or not you should pull. Again, I stand by the idea that uh, for the Falling Price deal, only pull if you can pull five or more times. For the Sora EX one, it's kind of a gamble because, like you guys saw, I did only two pulls and I was able to get it. I've seen pretty good results in general, but the price doesn't go down at all. And it's got that Wisdom Form Sora guaranteed. And yeah, that's that's all I can say about the current banners. Don't pull into the Key R2 one unless you really, really, really have a reason to. The EX one or the Falling Price one, because again, Tsum Tsums are right around the corner for us. And those are going to change the meta based on traits. Uh, but with that being said, these are all the notifications for the past two days that I have missed. I am sorry that I am late, but if you guys are watching, I really, really appreciate it. And... I am going to do another video for tonight. I've got a few more things I want to run through since it is raid week. I want to uh, get some traits going, get some guilds going, get some keyblade shinies going on. So I'm going to cut this one here. And until the next one, guys, take it easy.